Doctors at the Children's Hospital of Eastern Ontario are using artificial intelligence to help diagnose rare disorders. The AI scans records and flags patients for genetic testing. CTV's Judy Trin got a closer look at the technology and how life-changing it could really be. Judy, how long did it take to develop this? Morella, CHEO researchers began development of this algorithm in 2021. Since then, they've identified more than a dozen cases of potential rare diseases that were missed. For years, the Wistaff family have been searching for the cause of the developmental delays in their 10-year-old son, Anthony. His balance is very poor, as well as being able to retain information um, and grasp everyday small task and knowledge is, was very challenging. Doctors initially thought the delays were due to complications from surgery Anthony had as a baby. He was born with excessive fluid around his brain. After more than 100 visits to the hospital and being bounced from one specialist to another, Anthony was diagnosed with a rare genetic disorder, Chung Jansen syndrome. There's about only 400 people in the world known with this disease right now as we speak. Uh, Anthony is actually the first one diagnosed with this disease in North Amer uh, America. There are 6,000 rare genetic diseases. Anthony's diagnosis may not have happened if he wasn't flagged for testing through an AI algorithm. Chio named it Think Rare. It was developed by scientists working with tech experts. It's kind of a nudge. It's not, we're not replacing the doctors, we're, we're kind of helping them with, with some of these digital tools. For this pilot project, researchers used the algorithm to analyze 10 years of data consisting of more than 250,000 patient records. Of that number, 15 people were flagged as having potential rare genetic diseases. AI is allowing CHEO doctors to diagnose rare disorders in kids much earlier so families can get help faster. If you don't have a specific diagnostic code attached to you in the health in the educational system you're often not given enough resources. CHEO doesn't have plans to monetize its AI algorithm instead it wants to give it away for free to help other children's hospitals. Morella. Yeah that's a great idea Judy thank you.